one. Uh, what's up, guys? This is Mark from DSGD, and I'm doing a video. Well, I guess from the description, you don't know what the video is about. Um, so basically, I, I want, I'm naming this day two with Dropshipper and DSGD, um, how to properly build a seller's list with DSGD. So what I'm noticing is a couple of you guys, um, John is one of them, um, a couple of guys messaged me and kind of was like, Mark, I'm having trouble finding things to sell. Can you explain or go through and see if I'm doing the right thing, blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> basically, I figured I'll come and show you guys what the main problem would be, right? So as I mentioned in a couple of videos before, the main problem usually is your seller's list. You want to start with a really good, a decently enough seller's list. And once you have a good seller's list, you can keep it growing from there, right? So a lot of times, two things will happen. Why you will get, why you will be like frustrated. One, you'll either get sellers that are really competitive and you can't find profit. Or two, you might get sellers that may not actually be a drop shipper or get an item from China or some type of stuff. So, um, in this in this in this account i added two of those type of sellers and then i will show you how to like actually vet sellers right to make sure you could add them to add them to your sellers list properly so okay so first of all these are two sellers here right pat's bargain hot 14 or some nonsense so when i hit edit and I, I, I click his image. I'm doing a Google search to see if I could find the image, right? Because that's what DSGN does. So, what is this? Why is this it? That's definitely not what I'm looking for. Not a sub, hold on. So this is some sort of like salon tray, tattoo tray thing, right? So when I do the, the Google search, if you, I did this earlier, so I was only finding a ton of stuff on eBay, right? So I couldn't find, I couldn't find the source. So when I can't find the source easily with an image, again, I try not to waste any time, right? I will go to the actual link of the item and then do a Google search for part of the description, right? I think I had that open already because I knew my internal ship. Yeah, I have it open. So huh. let me um, let me do a search for the right. So I did I did a search for like the specific stuff that I figure. I would find easily. Let me see that another part of the description. I also did a, a search for this part of it. All right, so that's that's searching right now. But basically, what I noticed when I was searching is that I couldn't find the item. Like I couldn't find it on Amazon, Walmart, any of the typical places. So um, I don't think it's some sort of secret where this item is coming from. I just as, I assume either. Let me open this. This is just top one price dot com. That just came up. If you know, it's another eBay link came up. eBay is hardly the top of this of the search. So let's see. I just saw this one, top1price.com. I have no clue what that is. Okay, don't, this looks like... Okay, I don't know where this... I don't know this site at all. I wouldn't even bother to use this as a as a, a source because I don't know what this is. So I would, as I said, so I couldn't figure out where he, I couldn't get a, like a, a proper 
source for that item. So let's if, if I check his other item. Again, I'm doing this all live for you guys. I don't think I'd even check this one yet. So let me close down because I have some really bad internet. So, all right, so basically this first guy, he doesn't seem like a typical drop shipper, so I'll just forget about him, right? I, would, I wouldn't waste too much time and all that type of stuff. The second guy I added to your search, right choice 247. I know him pretty well. When I say I know him, I don't know him personally, but I've been I've had him on my sellers list for maybe like two years, at least two years. I think it might have been more. So let me check really quickly. I usually start with the higher price item, like the one fifty, a hundred, two hundred type item. So let me start with one of these and see if I could find any margin. I know that's a Walmart item just because I've sold the, those cases a lot of times. I'm just hoping it's priced low enough so we can make some money. I guess Amazon has it now, but I've been getting them from Walmart for a couple of years. Let me close all the shit that's loading. So what's gonna happen is you'll, you'll um, when you come across, I'm just showing you two type of sellers that you'll come across that might make it a little difficult for you to figure out what the hell is going on. So one is that guy who's not just an actual drop shipper who might have a different place he's finding out from. And secondly is like this dude right choice who's actually a really good drop shipper and his margins are really tight. His margin can be tight because he's getting warm up gift cards from different places. Wow, Amazon started to sell <coughs> started to sell this stuff. And we could actually make margin. We could actually make some profit on this one. Because he's selling for 149. And Amazon has it for 99. And this is actually cool stuff you'll find. Maybe I'll rename this video just because. Um, wow. I can't. That's a first. This is sweet. So if you look, guys, this is 99 bucks. And it's on Prime. So this dude right choice is still, I'm guessing, still buying it from Walmart. And you put in the external link. What is the variance from? I think it's black. I have to put it variance because if you look, there are two colors, black and green. So the black one is 99. Let me close it. save i'm excited that is some crazy shit wow so the cost or price is 99 there was free shipping I, I can sell it for one ninety. No, I can sell it for like one twenty five. Right, I can sell it for one twenty five and still make eleven bucks. So I'm beating this price by like twenty bucks. I'm not greedy, right? I would. That's the price I would personally sell it. Y'all could do whatever you want, but that's my ah damn. I I um I close the thing with this screen. Anyway, so yeah, so I'll I'll do it. I hate long videos, guys. I still have a new video on YouTube. Sorry for this, guys. Doo, doo, doo. You know I'm working with some really bad internet. Right, so I found this on Amazon. That just kind of made my day, to be honest. Because I did not expect to find this here. Come on.
Well, I'm trying to just copy this bloody description. Jesus. Guys, imagine I could make money with this shitty internet. So you guys should be able to do the same. Or do better than I do. Get better internet. Come on, Jesus Christ. I am not going to go through this. So put the description. I'm putting the most basic description. That's because I'm annoyed. Let me just get some of these on. Some of these. Save. Doo, doo, doo. <sighs> okay, so I actually found an item from that too, which is interesting. So I would go through his stuff. I mean, I'm not going to do that coming up. I'm, I'll go through his other stuff and see what else I can find, right? Um, so I know this video was initially supposed to be about... about um, building as sellers list and properly vetting sellers, but let's not do that. The video is like 12 minutes long, and I'll just upload it, and I will um, do another video on building as sellers list um, right after this. All right, guys, thanks for your time. I know it's been a, it was a big change. Um, I'm not going to edit the video. I'm just going to upload it. Hopefully, it'll be helpful. Have fun. Make money. Um, follow. Ask questions in, in the comment section so I can make more videos. I'll respond. Subscribe. In the description, there's also a link to join GSGNE and a link to get free training. So hopefully you all take advantage of that and make money, guys. Have a good one. Bye -bye.